text on this device is so crisp. But there's another detail that I want to show you before we take a look at the screen. Let's move to this top down camera here. I'll use two one euro coins to show you how thick this is. Okay, this is, I mean, how thin it is. This is the USB C port. This is the other side. Okay, let's try the power button here. Now, let me remove the cover. I guess it's a little over one coin. It's a little thicker here, but in any case, it's super thin. We'll get back to that top down camera in a second. First, let's talk a little bit about how we can interact with this device. There's no way to use your finger. You have to use the pen, but there's no battery here. You don't need to recharge the pen. However, you can use your finger on these buttons here. Well, I'll show you them in, in a second. And there's also this home page. Uh, it's an easier way to navigate. So let's take a look at all this. These buttons, they work as shortcuts. If we press the first one here, we can see what they do. And it's important to remember this one because they change accordingly to the app we are using. And of course, you can edit them. We can go here and change many of them, all the settings. We're not doing this. But let's try uh, one of the buttons. For example, this one here is back. And every time I tried it, it was always back. So that's a good one to remember. Another one that is good to remember, let's go back to that page. This one here, so far, every time I pressed it, it brought me back to home. Now, there are these windows that work similar to windows on your computer, because if we tap something here, it will go to that item. Let's go back to home here. But if we tap the window itself, this little bar here, it will bring us to all the items inside that window. For example, if we go to the, uh, whoops, if we go to the apps here, window, we'll see all the apps. But if we want to go to a specific app, for example, Wi-Fi transfer, we can tap that app. Okay, let's go to a note. I want to show you how much this feels like paper. Let's grab the microphone here. Whoops, uh, I just pressed the eraser here. The first time I used it, I, I thought I was damaging the screen. Impressive. Oh, and by the way, let's bring the microphone back. Uh, this one here, if you press and hold it, this is the back, remember, but I can press and hold it. It will get rid of the, it will refresh the page to get rid of the ghosts that appear on this e-ink device. So I'm going to hold it. See, so that's another function of this button here. Now let's take a look at some of the apps. If we tap here, you notice that there are system apps and also installed apps. We'll get to this in a bit, okay? <laughs> let's first try this browser here. Yes, there is a browser. Oh, I almost forgot this. If in the future you decide to purchase a pan star, please use my affiliate link, vladcampus.com slash PS. And star PS. You pay the same thing and I'll get a small fee. Vladcampos.com slash PS. Okay, back to the video. This is also a good opportunity to show you how good it is recognizing handwritten text. Sometimes it doesn't get it right, but most of the time it does. And uh, you can use a keyboard, but it is so good that I'm almost never using this keyboard here. So let's do it. There it is. Here's my website. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to the other apps because there's another one that I want to show you here, the Wi-Fi 
transfer. You can see some files here because I have already tested this. So to do it, start Wi-Fi transfer. Of course, you have to be connected to the Wi-Fi network, the same Wi-Fi network your computer is connected to. And then all you have to do is type this address on your web browser, on your computer, and we'll go to the page now and you see how it works. There are other ways to upload files to the device, but I think this is the easiest one. Once you type that address, you see this window and all you need to do is drag files to that box. What I'm doing here is dragging the Obsidian Android uh, app that I downloaded from the Obsidian website but you can see that there is another uh, file there, a PDF that I uploaded earlier. To download the Android file, go to the Obsidian website and look for the APK file under the download tab. Okay, let's go back to the device. I'll start with the PDF and let me show you this. If I click here to open that menu again, you can see that there there's a different option here, two different options here, zoom in and zoom out. Remember that if we go back to home and do it here, there is no zoom in and zoom out. And also we can now use this shortcut to go to that document. Okay, so let's again, remember, okay, zoom in the first one there. So let's zoom in because this is too small. And here at the corner, there are two options. You can drag this little box here to where you want the text to be, or you can tap here. And now you can use, you can see that this changed. You can use the pen to drag the text. I prefer the other one. I think it's visually more intuitive so I can see where the page will go. And this text is so crisp. <laughs> Let me do this to show you. It's amazing. Okay, we can also tap here at this edit option here. There's a bar, it's already selected, the pen is already selected. So from here I can I don't know, highlight, uh, mark text like that. I think there is a highlighter. Let's see. Not really. Yeah, it is kind of. Okay. And we can hold this button here and erase this. Okay. Let's go to the apps because I want to show you the two options here. So we have the system apps and we ha have the installed apps. Here we have Chromium, we have uh, Obsidian, and we have SyncThing. From here, we can of course open this apps, but another thing that we can do is tap and hold, and I'm gonna add this to navigation. So now Obsidian is right here, much easier to go to. Even if I'm at home here, I can simply tap here and open Obsidian. But before using Obsidian, we have to install it, right? Well, I recorded myself earlier installing it, and this is what I'm going to show you now. If you don't want to watch that, you can skip using the chapters below. And off camera, I also installed SyncSync, which is the app I use to synchronize my vault. But I don't see why using Obsidian Sync, if that's what you use, would be a problem. Under the hood, this is just uh, another Android device, so I, I don't see how that would be a problem. Anyway, let's take a look at the installation. And go to Files, Wi-Fi Transfer, and let's see what's going to happen here. Install. Open. Okay, this is pretty cool. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> okay, grant permission. Allow. Access files. So.
create a new vault. Vault name. Let's call this vault and star. I don't want to change this because I don't know where should it go. So, and this is a task. So, let's create it. Please, okay. I have to choose a location. I'm going to use this folder here. Allow. Okay, create. Isn't this cool? Wow, it's it's the it's exactly the same Android. Wow. So now let's test it. Uh, I'm going to split the screen here. Half of it's going to be my computer and the other half is going to be the pan star. Let's see if it works. So here at the computer, we can go to the timeline and here it is. Now I'm going to write something here. Let's go to the... <laughs> Isn't it so cool? It's impressive. Panstar sent me this device for free, but they are watching this video for the first time together with you. Everything you saw today is my own opinion. I really think this is a pretty cool device and you can expect more videos about it. And if it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this and other crazy experiments I do all the time here on the channel. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you soon.